All right, guys, so with this question, what I want you to have a careful look at is the following. Okay, so what they're telling us here, and look at this carefully, they're saying, so we know that this one is an x value. We know it always says f of x, so that's an x value. So they're saying that when x is one, when x is eight, and when x is three, all of those have an answer, which is like your y value, which is zero. Where on a graph is the y value zero. Well done if you realize that that's on the x-axis. And so these three are actually the x-intercepts on the graph. So if I gave you a graph that had x-intercepts at 1, at 8, and at 3, so 1, 3, and 8, then to find the equation, all you do is you use the bracket method where you say x minus 1, x minus 3, and x minus 8. Then whenever we are trying to find the equation, always remember your little a in the front. To find a, you have to use another point that you haven't used yet, and that's why they've given us this one. So that means that the y value is minus 48 when the x value is 0. So that's a minus 1. And so that's minus 48 equals to a. Now this is just minus 1 multiplied by minus 3, which is 3, multiplied by that, which is going to be negative 24. We can then divide both sides by negative 24, and we'd find that a is 2. Okay, so you, see, you don't want to forget about that a. Now that we know that a is 2, we can put it there. Now what we do is we multiply out. So there are various ways that you could do this, guys. So if you don't agree with my way or if you don't like my way, then you must do it your way. Uh, you should still get to the same answer. So what I'm going to do, for example, is I'm going to multiply these two together. And so I'm going to leave the 2 and the x minus 8 alone for now. So I'm going to go like this. I know that if I multiply these two, I would eventually get x squared minus 4x plus 3. And then I've got x minus 8. Then to make life, I just prefer to make things a little bit easier for myself. I put the x minus 8 in the front. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these two together. Minus 8x squared plus 32x minus 24. And then lastly, I'm going to put the 2 inside that. So that's 2x cubed. And then simplify. And there's our final answer.